Meanwhile, the Walker County Sheriff's Office tells us they're looking for a woman that allegedly stole over $1,700 from a church. Yeah, no good deed. CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman has been speaking with some of the members of that church. He joins us live outside 26th Street Baptist Church there in Jasper. Robert, it just makes you shake your head. Well, Sheriff, the Walker County Sheriff's Office tells us that this all started when the 26th Street Baptist Church behind me pitched in to help a woman named Christina Mathis in her time of need. But that act of charity ultimately turned into a case of property and identity theft. The Walker County Sheriff's Office tells us that they are looking for this woman, Christina Mathis. The Sheriff's Office tells us that the 26th Street Baptist Church gave Mathis a check for $50 in order to help with finances. But ultimately, the church was hit for hundreds. She used the routing numbers and account numbers from that check to charge uh, somewhere north. I think the exact numbers are $1,741. Milton Allen is a deacon at the church. I just don't understand how somebody could do a church like that. <laughs> Must have been heartbreaking. It was. You try to help her and this is what you get, and this is the payment you get. Cassandra Aaron looks after Mathis's mother and claims that this is not the first time that Mathis has sought money. Mathis's Facebook page shows a series of fundraising campaigns, which Aaron never believed to be genuine. She's tried to uh, say her mother was dying in the hospital. I mean, stuff like that. She's, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, just do the right thing. You know, do like your mother said. Just go turn yourself in. While Deacon Allen tells us that he and the rest of his congregation feel hurt. They refuse to stop helping those in need. We got to trust in the individuals. Hope they'll do what they say they're going to do. That's all we can do. It's up to them, but they just going to do like they want to anyway, so it's just up to them. The Walker County Sheriff's Office tells me that Mathis is being charged with one count of identity theft and one count of property theft, both of which are felonies. And they say that if you have any information on Mathis's whereabouts, you're encouraged to call the Walker County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live in Jasper, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.